This video is a follow-up to my last video where I discussed how NHL 14 ruined my PlayStation 3 controller. If you haven't seen that video, basically NHL 14 uses this thumbstick all the time and what it has done is broken apart now and this also spins like this. So what I decided to do, I didn't really want to give up on this controller even though I have three new ones. I still want to see if I can make this work. So I went to the store and I picked up this super glue. This cost me a dollar for four tubes of this. And what I was going to try to do is put some super glue in between there. And then I think what I'll do is try to just try to hold it shut with my fingers, sort of like this. I don't know how well that's going to work, but I was going to try it just like that and see if I can get that to hold. And maybe I can get some more use out of this, but even if I can't, not a big deal because I still have the other controllers to fall back on. I just want to see what I can do. Well, I've saved you the boredom of watching me put the super glue on and holding the thumbstick closed. But if you take a look at it, it actually did a really good job. The bond is really nice going the whole way around. And if you check this out, no longer spins freely on there. And it all moves around very nicely, no problems there. I don't know how long that's going to hold, especially with the long season ahead of us as the Pittsburgh Penguins in NHL 14. But for now, that'll work. So I'm going to continue using this controller, make it at the very least my NHL 14 controller. And I'll keep you updated on how this works out. If I have to glue it again, that's no problem. I still have this whole glue left, and I have three more of them. So there you go. If this ever happens to you with NHL 14, the very least you can do is just try putting some glue on it. Really nothing to lose if the controller's already busted and actually works out pretty well. You can see there's a bit of a problem there, but you know, do what works.